Okay, Rose, I am recording this because this is like the most stupid thing in the world that I have ever heard, and you've just got to see it. So hopefully you'll be able to hear it too. Here we go. CIA observers noticed that diplomats from the Soviet embassy would go outside for private conversations. If they could eavesdrop on these meetings, they might gather important information. A bunch of geniuses at the CIA figured, maybe we can wire up a cat to, uh, to do our surveillance for us. Two enemy agents sitting there talking, and here walks up a cat. They don't think anything of it. I don't doubt they tried to do that at all. In 1961, the CIA launched Operation Acoustic Kitty, the most ludicrously complicated method of getting a microphone near a park bench ever thought up by man. CIA vets implanted a microphone into the ear canal of a cat. They put a transmitter into the cat's neck, where there's a natural loose pocket of skin. Then they ran a wire along the cat's spine to the tail to make an antenna, powered by the smallest battery they could find. Your tax dollars at work. The finished article, a bionic, acoustically equipped super kitty. Ta-da! But no matter what you call it, a cat is still a cat. This was clearly a plan thought up by a dog owner. Dogs you can train. Cats, not so much. I've trained dogs before, but cats, they do whatever the hell they want. You know, so I've never trained a cat. He's clearly I not. imagine that'd be pretty difficult. The, the crazy cat lady. But inconvenient biological facts were not going to deter the CIA. Acoustic Kitty was sent on its first field mission near the Soviet Embassy in Washington, D.C. Nearby was a high-tech surveillance van filled with state-of-the-art audio receivers. Okay, you don't want to hear...